So this is a radio review before it's out. The ICOM IC-T10. This is a dual band UHF VHF uh, handheld and it will probably run about $200. So let's see if it's the value is what you need. So first thing is this is uh, IP67 rated so you can drop it in the water, pull it out, use it again right away. This is a basic radio, not like their $650 ID52. Uh, the nice thing about this is you can put a speaker mic on it and if you get a wa weatherproof one, waterproof mic, it's waterproof with the mic and plugged into it, which a lot of IP67 radios are not. The way they do this is it's got a seal and the mic plug is actually screwed in so it doesn't come out. This is another good feature. If you're really rugged with your radios, this is what you want. It also has a one and a half watt uh, speaker and you can get the lapel mic with one watt or one and a half. Okay, so this is an amateur radio, and the transmitting powers are 5 watts, 2.5, and, and half a watt on low. It is not a dual display. It does have a dual watch, where every 5 seconds it will look at another channel to see if there's any activity on it. Another nice feature is there's two knobs on top. There's the volume knob to the outside and the center knob is a channel select knob. Uh, they have a nice squelch feature. If you hold in the monitor button on the side and turn the center select knob you can adjust your squelch level from like 1 to 9 to actually off. It does have the NOAA weather radio that you can get to and it does have weather alert. It will listen to FM broadcasts, but it will not monitor any other station when you're listening to FM broadcasts. It has scanning and channel scan, and I could not see if it scanned for CTCSS or DCS codes. I was not able to download the advanced manual. The battery clip mounts on the battery. It does not have a flashlight. The battery it uses is a BP 280 and it is a 24 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. That should last you all day uh, which is good because a spare battery for this radio is $82. Uh, there is a battery eliminator available for this. But if you buy the eliminator, you also have to buy the plug that plugs into it. Uh, so value, it's weatherproof, it's a basic radio, which is good sometimes, and everything about it is IP67 rated. Uh, it's computer programmable, the software is free, you have to buy the USB cable. There's 208 memories. The antenna is an SMA male. So, the free entering a frequency is really easy. Just use the keypad, use the decimal point, and there's the enter key. So you don't have to type in all the zeros to finish out loading the frequency. Okay, the menus. Uh, in the menus you can actually set the mic gain, which is also a very nice feature. So how does the operating go of selecting the bands? So here's a little chart. If you press the VMC button, it will cycle through VFO mode, to memory mode, to call channel mode, to the weather channel. The call channel mode is nice 
because it's kind of like having a blank a bank of uh, 10 different channels that are used a lot instead of having to search through 250 memories now in the VFO mode if you press the band button it will cycle between the VFO or sorry the VHF mode UHF mode or the FM radio and this is why you can only listen to VHF, UHF or the FM radio. 